street that I was raised on, our Beauty Street in Compton, was uh, straight out of uh, Leave It to Beaver, to be very frank, uh, with African Americans. We all took turns playing freeze tag out in the middle of the street, playing touch football, or raiding Mrs. Bell's plum tree. I mean, it was just a great environment to grow up in. I came here in 1968. My parents brought me here to Compton from East Los Angeles. There's been a long time um, community of Mexican Americans in this in this city uh, that's traced back to the early part of the 20th century. But there, probably the number of more recent immigrants um, is is greater than the native-born individuals here. More and more blacks move to the city. They're getting involved in the community. They're buying businesses. They're establishing themselves uh, in the local community. Uh, and then right about the time of the Watts riot, uh, reaction from a large number of the whites in this community uh, in South Los Angeles where they left. When a, an area like Compton or South Los Angeles uh, loses its employment possibilities as it did, in the 1960s, 70s, where all of the major employers moved out, the tire factories and so on. That left an awful lot of unemployed younger males in particular. Well, younger unemployed males have another alternative now, and that is to hang around with themselves, gang it up. When the quote-unquote white flight occurred in uh, the uh, late 60s, I'll say that we were not adequately prepared to fill that void. When I say we, I mean African Americans. George Bush Sr. used to live down the street here on Santa Fe, right on the corner where we're at. Initially, uh, I would say uh, uh, some of the, the gang um, origins began uh, with blacks thinking that they needed to protect themselves from the whites that were still uh, in the uh, uh, area at that time, because there were uh, uh, allegations and, and incidents of, of racial attacks. And uh, that was right around uh, 70, 71, 72, before I graduated from high school. That's right about the time that you started seeing the evolution of the gang problem as we know it today. About that time, I started noticing a change in the demographics to the point where now uh, it's his, uh, primarily Hispanic. I would say 55 to 60 percent, if not a little bit more, is probably Hispanic. The political life of, of Compton, um, we have mostly um, English speaking, and although we have maybe 70% uh, Hispanic, uh, there's not one Hispanic in the city council. The infrastructure, the current power structure in Compton needs to also figure out how to integrate immigrants into this community, um, and I don't think that's being done. But I think that uh, as a community, you have to have that long-range vision. And I think the city has it now.